Hello, hello. I had a wish from you, from a visitor of my YouTube channel to talk a little bit about routing in Angular and I will try to solve this wish now and I have prepared or changed my application a little bit to demonstrate the, how the routing it work. So at first now just let log in or try to enter a site and as you see, I can't enter the dashboard side, but when I log in, I will automatically redirect to the dashboard. And in here, I can log out again, which will bring me to the login page. Or I can click on post here, view all, where I get to post fetched from my backend, which you see in here. And I can then click in here, I have the ID above in the URL, and then the detail is shown for the post. That's just dummy, da dummy data, so it's just mocked in my backend and not really fetched from the database, but it's easy to implement it if you would want to. For me, it's now about routing. So how does this routing work and how does it work effectively? So if we switch from fetch and to javascript we see in here that there are different javascript files loaded which are all kind of small i will just log out again and refresh and clear the cache so this is application now loaded with the styles main and so on and some huge render stuff which is not important just for development now we log in we see that there are two more scripts loaded right now, which uh, let's oh, can't move that. Which are the dashboard roots TS JS <laughs> and the dashboard dashboard component TS. And if I go then to post, we will see post roots is loaded, post list post list component is loaded, and if I click in here, then the detail post is loaded. And how does all of this work? So let's go in and at first we will look at the main TS because I'm using a standalone component that's a little bit different than with working with modules. In here you need to add provide router and as you see in here there's a constant which is called app roots and it's exactly like that it's called it's just roots and very minimalistic, just the login page component, which as we saw, if we already authenticated, so if we go in here and we go back to the base, we already redirected. So that's the first redirect in here. If we authenticated and having the role admin, we will programmatically navigate to the dashboard and with that we can go back to our let's see where was it routes or routes and we have a check mark in here we can access this without any json web token and so on and so on then we have the dashboard in here and here is important load children and we import the dashboard routes which are we will look at now and this load children means that the, all the routes in there or all the components in there that are net, net, not again also specified lazy loading will get lazy loaded. And lazy load in the moment we are going to the dashboard. But as you see in here, in my dashboard I have everything load component for single component lazy loading or load children for a chunk of uh, components lazy loaded. Um, in here I have the path which is empty because I have the dashboard path set in the app routes and then I have the provider for the authentication guard so I can use can activate which is above here there's a function can activate calls the uh, users activation guard uh, with, and also pro, uh, provide data and roles so I'll just say if you go in here you need the role admin and this, is, this goes into the required roles in here and then we check the roles and if we don't have the permission, so we are not authenticated or don't have the matching role 
we are going to get navigated back to the root of our uh, page of our application, so the login component in this case. And um, with that, we can specify in here children again. And the first children is the dashboard component, which we saw in here. This is the dashboard component for this. And then we have load children again for post. And we do the same thing again. We are creating a new uh, roots constant. And I just provided the post service in here and again the authentication guard and the methods I just copy pasted that I didn't, don't even know if that's needed in here because we already secured the parent root but who knows maybe we want spe specific roles or uh, permissions in here for um, for reading editing posts and so on and in here I can use the children. Now there is a different in here. If we are going back to the dashboard roots, we have the first component is the dashboard component. And the dashboard component is a little bit sp special because we have in here uh, not the dashboard component. Let's go back. The dashboard router. The dashboard compo router is a little bit specific because we have a menu above here with navigation and some buttons and some menu for the seaming and then you have a router outlet in here. And this will always be seen oops, um, as we can see in here. This is the navigation and this will always be seen even if we switch pages and so on and we can go back but the content of the outlet changes well, so there will be uh, new content next to the outlet more specific and this is important if you want to have something fixed and something beneath above whatever that's changed you will do it like that in the case of our post routes, we don't even have some router outlet in here. I have generated it here with this uh, router outlet, but I can totally delete this. Did anyway. So here will something be broken, which is an import. I will remove this. And this will still work, or should still work at least. So if I go in here, everything is fine because if I don't specify a specific uh, outlet router component uh, Angular will just generate some, some for me so in this case this will generate it here above while we the dashboard routes we set a component in here but as you see it's not even needed so now the next point would be how to get the data from the URL. As you see in here, there's an ID of the specific post you want to fetch. <laughs> it's just mocked, I actually don't do it. But as you see in here, uh, it's sent to the backend. But as you see, I have no data in there right now. But it's all working. So how does it work? Let's go to the post detail. And here I have injected the activated root and this root I can subscribe or in this case I use a pipe on the param map and I use a switch map from my XJS and check if there is the param ID which is specified in here. As you see, this is ID. And you need to be aware of the passes by the way. So this is let's go back to the app roots. This is dashboard, slash dashboard. Now if I go in here, I have slash posts. This is slash dashboard, slash posts. And in here, it's just this colon with ID. So it's slash dashboard, slash posts, slash ID, which we see in the URL also. If I get my... <sighs> Let's see in here. So, and... How do we get this? V 
we get this ID from the param map and then we just fetch the post and with the ID which is obviously there or we would be returned already here and then we can subscribe and get the data and the data is shown simply displayed in here so this is one method uh, to fetch the user the data from the URL and this is fetched after the component is created so component is created then you maybe can display a, a loading spinner and the data is loaded and then you remove the spinner and add the data there is also some other possibility to fetch those data uh, which is this is with a resolver where you fetch the data first and then when the data is fetched then the component is created but you will see this probably often more often maybe depending on the project you are working with or on your preferences so that's the basics about working with roots i will in angular i will upload this example it's already uploaded i will just update it and post this data and i will add this link in the description again to the github repository so you can look in here and if you have some struggles and something um, missing something you can look in here but uh, one point right now i missed it let's see router link they can also show some router links in here so which are navigating with the router in the TypeScript file and if you want to navigate in the HTML you can use router link and you just create post and this will append to the URL so if we go back to the dashboard and you see we have dashboard and then this is just roots uh, uh, posts in there it will append here when it's just ID it will append here you could also specify absolute pass not relative pass but it's more convenient for me to work with relative pass so uh, now enough i hope you learned something and if you have any questions which uh, you might want me to uh, to answer just ask the questions and i will try my best to give you the answer and some code example with it